It's time for a little confession. In past years at the Deep Ellum Arts Festival, I've changed clothes in the street, spiked my lemon shake up, and used a porta potty in complete darkness. It's really a pretty fun event, and I highly recommend it. Now, with a little bit of help from my former self, I'll give you all the information you need to decide if this fun time is right for you. Deep Ellum Arts Festival is an outdoor event in the Deep Ellum neighborhood of Dallas, Texas. It's got art vendors, food vendors, and music. This year the festival is going to be April 3rd, 4th, and 5th, which is this upcoming weekend. Admission is free. Alright, past self, what is going on down there? We're walking down Main Street right now, which is fenced off. Um, basically, it's art, music, street performers, um, a place to bring your dogs, show off your tattoos, and in general, just hang out. includes just about any kind of art you can imagine. Paintings, photography, jewelry, even crafts like handmade sandals. Most of the art is in individual artists' booths, but in the special areas you can also see artists working live. Something that sucks about the festival. They made us buy goddamn tickets. So the food vendors will be operating not on the cash system, but on the unfortunate coupon system, where you have to buy ten dollars worth of coupons at a time. But keep in mind, all of Deep Ellum's usual options will still be there during the festival. And this is one street up on Elm, where Club Dada and Trees and some of the other music venues are, and there are plenty of places to eat drink, shop. Deep Ellum has also seen many businesses open recently, so there should be even more options this year. This is not a convenient event to bring your car to. You can, however, access Deep Ellum via the dark rail. Deep Ellum Station is on the green line. If you come from the northern suburbs, you can park at a red line station at Parker Road, 15th Street, or LBJ. Switch to the green line at Pearl Station. Traditionally, many people bring dogs to the festival, but keep in mind that it's nearly always hot and dogs can't just duck into a bar for a moment of air conditioning. You should bring a water dish. This year there will be a pet parade on Sunday, and on Sunday only, there will be some conveniences catered specifically to pets. Pro tip, the patio of St. Pete's is dog friendly. Many people also bring children to the festival. The festival doesn't have specific child-centric activities, but plenty of kids seem to enjoy it anyway. Of course, you've got to keep in mind that no one will be censoring the art or the festival for your child's benefit. typical of these Ellen events, there's generally plenty going on that defies categorization or predictability. <laughs> Alcohol is not difficult to acquire at the festival, or in Deep Ellen in particular. Past me is fond of keeping a purse stash, but uh, past me might have a problem. Final result. Happiness. Music plays throughout the duration of the festival. This year there will be a hundred bands and performing artists. When the sun starts to go down and the various art booths lock up, nothing is over. Bands continue to play on the festival stages and usually in the permanent venues around here.
the Deep Ellum Arts Festival is this year, April 3rd, 4th, and 5th. All details about this year's event were taken from the event website at deepellumartsfestival.com. All opinions are based on personal experience only. This video is bullshit.